But um, it can't be sinful to eat fish if Jesus did it. That's clear. So, um, but just there's, where well, there's a choice of ways of going about things, I'd prefer to go for the choice which shows more um, kindness and more consideration for other life forms, especially bearing in mind that when you are an aquarist and you keep fish, you can see how they react, how they, oh look at this black beetle, how they uh, react to one another and how they are. This is called Zvizdnoy Boulevard, which is Star Boulevard. It's called Star Boulevard because it's to do with the whole um, cosmonaut thing. This is the <coughs> <coughs> this is the region of Moscow where there are lots of things to do with the cosmonauts. As I think I've mentioned before, um, this is like a centre of cosmonautic goings on during the space race. I'm not sure if there's any of that going on still here. Certainly that Karalyova character um, that my street is named after is to do with all of that. And if you go up there you'll come to the park which is to do with the cosmonauts and the, their museum. Maybe we'll see it in a second if I aim the camera back down there. But it's like a big long park celebrating them down here in the middle of a road which goes that way it goes well, on that direction it goes this way and then stops and that direction it goes up that way and then here it reverses because this this goes down this way this is a one way that's no, two ways actually oh it's all very complicated even the hotel which you see down there that big curved effort is called the Cosmos Hotel. So, uh, Hotel Cosmos. But you can't see the cosmonauts spike from the road here. I think you can in... Uh, when there's no leaves on the trees, but the leaves are back. So now you can't. So there we are. Ah, Zvezdny, not Zvezdny, Zvezdny Boulevard. So, um, Zvezdny Boulevard. Star Boulevard. And there's another cat. Nice black one, but no, no kittens this time. What on earth is that? That's a huge white pigeon. I thought it was a chicken. This huge thing. It might be worth trying to get on film actually. When I'm out here doing just walking, so it doesn't really matter where I go. So if a chicken if a chicken, if a pigeon that size presents itself, why wouldn't I film it? Well, I might get a bit muddy, but we'll see what happens. See, this is your normal ones here. And then there's that huge, very big white one. Whether it's that much bigger, I don't know. But from its, from its uh, behavior towards the other, I would say it's almost certainly male. That was a cock pigeon, and uh, that was the other, the other pigeon was a hen pigeon. You see, you can say cock on YouTube and not have your film pulled. You can say film. Okay, I won't go there. So this is the nice area 
between Silsby Boulevard. Somebody's bothered to put a face on that. It's nice to put a face to a name. Um, and that's just a sign, not really a name, but it says 40 miles an hour, kilometres of course. <coughs> this is about halfway to my office. I'm not going to the office because it's Sunday, but uh, you see, there's a, like like a kind of trolley bus park there. The trolley buses get guided into the. There's a. That's got the uh, fire engines and what have you in there as well. So that would be about half of my normal walk to the office. But I'm not going to go to the office, so in a, in a short while I'll be turning off where I would go. I'll show you where I would normally head off but we'll head off in a different direction. So, uh, I'm just holding it like a dictaphone when people are wondering what the hell I'm doing. And then I can say I'm dictating a letter. Strangely enough, this could work as a dictaphone because I've, I work with Nuance Dragon, naturally speaking, quite a lot, and you can input <coughs> voice files. If you get the right kind of Dragon, the right, the right version, you can input voice files which you have previously recorded elsewhere. And I've experimented with that, but I didn't find it works very well, because later on you can't remember what you were saying, and, and if it does start to go off in a, a, a tangent, which with background noise it can do, you just, you're looking at it and you think, by the time you've thought what you were trying to say, you could have pretty much typed it out. So all of the usual economies that you get are, uh, are wasted. Whereas the one where you just simply sit there and dictate into it um, while you're sitting, or you could be reclining further from the computer because you can adopt different positions when you're talking into a computer than you can when you're typing. You can be much more flexible in the way you sit at the, the machine. Um, and in itself, just w working with voice as well as just with hands means that you work for longer without getting tired. The whole working thing becomes more comfortable, especially on big projects um, w where there's lots of writing. Um, it makes all of those things extremely simple. So uh, I can only recommend it, generally. I keep buying it and buying the license for upgrades. 